Welcome to another edition of the Supplies on Demand product feature video blog. You can find the written version of our blog at www.suppliesondemand.blogspot.com and our online store at www.suppliesondemand.biz. A few days ago I posted some pictures of a picture frame that I made using rub and buff and some Fisker's paper edgers for stencils. Uh, it didn't turn out quite the way I wanted it to so I'm going to take another attempt at, at another picture frame here. Today we're using the pinking pattern Fisker's paper edger, gold leaf rub and buff, and ruby rub and buff. Uh, also using these foam uh, sponge brushes rather than paint brushes. I think they work a little better for spraying the rub and buff. And we're using some masking tape to make some stencils. Now we're going to make a pinking stencil and do a zigzag pattern alternating with a straight line uh, in the gold and the ruby across this entire picture frame. The way we make those stencils is we take our scissors, we take a piece of tape, and lay it right on there. Try to get it centered as best you can. Then you do a real quick cut with the scissors. That didn't work quite that well. Try that again. There we go, there's a cleaner cut. And you can see what you end up with is, is two strips of tape, one with the positive pinking and one with the negative pinking. And when you line those up next to each other and offset them just a little bit, you get a zigzag pattern all the way down. And that's what I've done over here on this side already in advance of the project. And what I'm going to do is just take them and alternate them, move one at a time down across the frame until I get the alternating zigzag pattern. And then with the back of the stencil to each other, I'll get a nice straight line. I'm going to do the zigzags in the ruby and the straight lines in the gold leaf. So we'll take our ruby rub and buff. We'll shake it up a bit, make sure it's nice and mixed in there. I'm going to apply it right onto the frame, right onto where we want to stencil this. Put a good amount there. And I'm going to make sure that I only use uh, the edge of my sponge because if I do this then it's going to be too wide and we're going to get it outside of the stencil. So we'll put the cap back on our rub and buff. Probably need a little bit more later. And we'll just start to spread this nice and evenly across our stencil. Again we're going to Make sure we don't go outside of our stencil while we're doing this. So we've got that spread nice and evenly across there. Now we're going to pull up just the one side of our stencil real carefully here. You can see that pinking pattern is starting to show up. looks real nice. And then we're just going to take our stencil and lay it down so that we get a set of parallel lines on the other side here. Try and get this even all the way up and down here. So here I am about two-thirds of the way across my frame. You can see I've been alternating between the ruby with the zigzag pattern and the, the gold leaf with the straight lines there. I'm on one of the straight lines now. Uh, I'm just going to take a little bit of gold leaf, put it directly on the frame. And then take our foam brush and just brush that right in there. It's only taken me about 15 minutes to get all the way across the frame to here. So this is a real quick easy little project. So here we are, we're going to put our last red zigzag down the, the end of this. Put a little bit right along here. Again this is ruby rub and buff that we're using along here to make this nice dark kind of brownish rusty red. And we'll use our brush, put that in to this, our little makeshift stencil there. And that should about do it. We'll go away and peel the tape. And there we have our completed frame with our alternating ruby red and gold leaf rub and buff zigzag and straight line pattern across there. We made those patterns using masking tape and our pinking Fisker's paper edger. So once again we used got the ruby rub and buff, gold leaf rub and buff, and our pinking paper edger, as well as our sponge brushes and some masking tape. So once again this is Dan blogging for www.spliesondemand.blogspot.com. You can find our online store at www.spliesondemand.biz.